G'day guys, Mozzie here. Welcome back to another quick video. And as many of you may know, I really like my elevators. And recently on Reddit, I saw a video by SC Petty and YTimmyY showing their Paternoster style elevator. And it reminded me of a, a little design that I made a little while back uh, using a simpler method than what they showed. As you can see, uh, we've got our little elevator, Paternoster style elevator, which goes up and you can hop out. And then, of course, you can go back down again. No dramas at all. Out we come. And I just wanted to highlight that you can actually make this a lot simpler than um, the guys had originally shown. Just by using our favourite little clock, which seems to work amazing with elevators, the little comparator clock. There is no trickery here, it's just a comparator clock at this end. And another comparator clock at this end. And as you can see, it works perfectly. I've got this red um, wall block here to demonstrate. You can also change the speed very easily with this system. So at the moment it's running as fast as it can run and if we knock out a block it goes slower and then you can just add that block back in again and it goes faster again. Now there are some limitations with this design. Uh, of course you can only go as far as a piston can push I uh, have experimented with chaining a few of these together vertically and uh, it doesn't seem to be rideable at the moment, however it has given me a few ideas so I might try that. Another cool thing that I discovered is you can actually use this as an item elevator and if we throw a bunch of items in here, this is just really funny and cool, it's not really practical but uh, you can uh, make it a, an item elevator and it'll take the items up and it will also push them across and it will also lower them down as well so that is pretty cool okay guys a couple other points here is uh, previously you saw that I had these two clocks separated and that's fine if this thing is always on but if you do want to turn it off all you have to do is sync the two comparator clocks together by using a redstone torch tower and then you can hook up some kind of rudimentary switch and that essentially turns off the clock here and also turns off the clock here but the beauty about redstone torch towers and comparator clocks is they sync perfectly so if you turn it back on it will then begin working again so if you rig this up to um, let's say a button for example let's just do something very crude here so if you rig this up to a button you could actually make a stop button where you could get in and then it would begin again. So that's a cool little thing as well, just to mention. Uh, I might show you quickly how to make one of these. There is a little bit of um, technique to get them running like this. Uh, you can always use this redstone torch tower and that will work every time. But I want to show you how to do it anyway. So uh, let's start over here. Um, we'll get our pistons. Hopefully this doesn't feel weird without sound. I just really didn't want the piston sounds on. Let me show you why. Um, sounds blocks. Just a tiny bit noisy. But that's piston elevators for you. Okay, let's turn the blocks back off. Okay, so um, now you can actually spread these apart of course as I've done here. It's still the same basic design, I've just spread it further apart at the bottom, so you can make quite a wide square. Um, for this one, we're just going to do it side by side like this. So, let's do this, uh, let's go like this, so we'll put a piston there, a block, and then a piston there. Um, here, on the back end here, we'll go one block next to the raised one two like that and I just need to confirm that yep that's right then we'll put the comparator over this side with redstone like so and that is that one done and then if you want to um, if you want to use the redstone torch tower system pretty much all you have to do is alternate redstone torches all the way up but the way you're going to determine where to stop is I like to just place a bunch of blocks so I'll do one here and place it on the side and just keep placing them until they don't get pushed up anymore you can obviously count the blocks up as well because pistons will only push 12 blocks 
So once this stops pushing, like so, that is the top of our tower. So from there we can get our pistons again. Now we want to go over to the side now. So we go a piston here, and then we want to go back down again. So we do another piston here, and we just repeat the exact same clock. So again, like so. Comparator here. Switch it to subtract mode always, and like that. And that's pretty much it. Okay, you can see that's starting to push down. Now the way that you fill this up um, is you want to get an immovable block, so let's just get some obsidian real quick. Put it down at wherever the pistons might be able to push out from. So here and here. And then all we have to do is, again, just keep filling this up. Now, this method can take a little bit of playing around to get it timed correctly. Once it's timed correctly, it will work always. See that? It's uh, actually stalled there. Now, one thing you can do here is you can actually flick on and off this comparator. And... You can do the same up here once you have enough blocks in there. So we'll put another block in. And we'll just... You can see I just flicked that on and off. And that's working. Um, we've actually got, I think, one too many blocks in there. That's why it's going slow. So if we knock one out, there's your speed. And just so you can see... Uh, that's how fast it's going around. Now, of course, the other way you can load it is by making the redstone torch tower. So let's start off by putting a block, torch on top, and we'll just go all the way up here. We will need to move it slightly off to the side, so like that. Uh, let's see where we'll do that. Probably here, I think. Um, no, maybe one lower. Off to the side here, off to the side here, and then we'll go up again from that, up to a block, put the torch in, and then we should be able to see that that's, this clock is off, and this one is off, and then all you have to do is just fill it up. Make sure you leave at least one, blocks, one block gap for the system to run, and then just turn it on, and it runs straight away and then you can add another block to it or, or subtract another block to it sorry to make it run faster and there you go then you can actually get rid of these if you wanted to um, obviously it needs to remain powered but you can remove these and it still works so there you go okay one more thing I'll show you if you do decide you want to make one of these I use fence gates to um, hold it up basically to hold up the blocks so you can step inside and if you do find they keep closing like you can see they're closed here all you have to do is just power them just before they get pushed and they'll open again in this configuration uh, they will stay open anyway um, but if they do get updated sometimes they will close so anyway guys that's it um, make sure you go and check out SC Petty's and Why Timmy Wise videos anyway um, because uh, yeah they did a good job but um, there you go, you can make it quite simpler, quite a bit simpler, and it's a bit of fun and a cool little design. Alright, thanks for watching.